Hey guys, Brad Scott here with bradscottvisuals.com. I've been sick for the last couple days, so today I kind of stayed inside and decided to do a photo shoot with my girlfriend Tamara. And uh, today this tutorial is all about how to make the photos really pop um, with Camera Raw. I'm mainly going to be using Camera Raw for this edit and then a little bit of sh uh, Photoshop just to smooth out the skin. But um, let's get to it. So I'm in Adobe Bridge right now. We're just going to select this photo. Now make sure you shoot all your photos in RAW uh, if you got a DSLR. It makes it so there's a lot more adjustments that can be made. Um, excuse my stuffy nose here. But let's get started. So usually what I like to do is um, go in with the adjustment tool here and really make the eyes pop. So I'm just going to zoom in on the eyes here. And we're going to select the adjustment tool. And usually what I'll do is um, just make everything zero just to start out with. I uh, usually do about 20 on the noise reduction. And then go pretty high on the clarity. And we'll just change the brush size real fast. Um, to about six. And we're just going to brush over the eyes, and as you can see, it really makes them pop. And it takes no effort on our part. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of the shadow increase on that just to make them pop a little more there. Okay, that looks good for that. Let's go ahead and uh, zoom back out. And I want to give some definition to the hair right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on the hand tool again to start a new uh, adjustment tool. And we're going to leave it at 80. Um, let me put the shadows down to about 10 and leave everything else the same. Um, except for we need to make the brush size to about 15 and we're just gonna go over the hair and as you can see it adds some really nice highlights and definition to the hair and really makes it pop that way it stands out a lot nicer okay now we shot against a green screen just so we could do kind of whatever effect we wanted to um, I'll leave that for another tutorial I'm just gonna go ahead and make the uh, the screen gray here so I'm going to start another adjustment tool and we're just going to go um, make everything zero here and then noise reduction let's make it about 50 to really smooth it out and then we're going to go saturation and make that negative 100 and just paint over that green All right. as you can see the photo is looking quite a lot better already just paint over that okay now the last thing I'm going to do here in camera raw is just smooth out the skin a little bit so let's uh Let's just zoom in one click here. It's a little too much. Okay. Let's see. We're going to go to adjustment tool and let's make the clarity about negative 20. Um, <coughs> noise reduction, let's do uh, about 70. Make sure your saturation is back at zero. And that brush size should be good. So you should be able to see as I go over the skin, it's really going to smooth it out. If you need more, just uh, add a little bit more noise reduction and a little less clarity. Smooth that out more. Okay. I'm just 
gonna go all the way out. Okay. There we go. So it's looking pretty nice. Um, last thing I'm gonna do in here is just go over to the temperature and just bump that up a little more. <coughs> now change the white balance. And then let's open it up into Photoshop. All right, so now that we're in Photoshop, I'm just going to select the Spot Heal tool. And we're just going to go over some of the blemishes. Let's see. And you just do one click, and it pretty much gets rid of everything. One over there. Let's see. And that's looking pretty good. So now what you do is uh, just select the color in different areas, and then go to the paintbrush tool and have the opacity about 18% and the flow about 18% <coughs> and you want to use a reasonable size brush and you just kinda paint over everything to smoothen it out this is what what you hear about um, when people say airbrushing you smooth it all out like that and whenever you go into a new color or a new tone or shade just make sure you reselect that color. Smooth that out. And after a while, you'll see it really smooths out the skin a lot. Go over here to the darker areas. Right down there. There we are. A couple more on the spot heel. just click uh, if you ever do something you don't like the way it looks just click control alt Z and it'll delete it <coughs> let's see let's do it over here smooth all that out Uh, this cold or whatever I have sucks right now. Not fun at all. Let's go down a little bit more. <clears throat> I guess at least I'm being productive even when I'm sick, right? Gotta do something, otherwise I go crazy. And one more spot over down here. Okay. And that looks pretty good. Now, if you have to do any uh, level adjustments or any of that, you can just add an adjustment layer um, and uh, tweak it a little bit. I like the way this looks, but um, so I'm just going to delete this. But let me just show you a cool um, thing that you can do. 
uh, let's do it with something very noticeable. So let's go to hue saturation. And let's say you want to make everything black and white except for the eyes. You're just going to go um, saturation all the way down. And then select a black paintbrush. And this is now a white mask. So anything you paint black on that mask is going to show that saturation um, that is in there. So let's just select the eyes there. <coughs> and you can see that let's zoom in here just to get a little closer you can see that the eyes are still blue and it's black and white everywhere else and then if you make any mistakes you just switch the color to white and you can paint white right over that layer mask just like so. So we're going to leave that as the final image. I hope you like it, guys. Please comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel. And uh, check back for more Photoshop tutorials.